Hello, before I start the video, I just wanted to mention that this video is not sponsored. However, this keyboard and mouse combo was provided to me for free to review, but all my thoughts and opinions that I've stated in this video are my own and they were not influenced in any way. Please enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see today, I have another review and that is of this Jelly Comb uh, wireless mouse and keyboard combo. So uh, this is a Bluetooth USB receiver mouse and keyboard combo. It is your full uh, standard layout, US layout. And yeah, I'm just gonna start off with the unboxing first. Let's, let's, so let's just get straight, straight into it. So in the box we get, ooh, okay, so we get keyboard and manual first with a keyboard protecting cover. So it stays safe in uh, transport, which is pretty cool. We'll put that to the side. Uh, we There's a mouse as well. This is a, wow, this is tiny, man. Oh my god. Look at that. Look how small that is. That is tiny. I didn't think it'd be that small. But yeah, got the mouse here. I'm guessing the wireless receiver is in here. Yep, there's a wireless receiver tucked away nice in there. On and off switch, there's your sensor. I'm guessing that's DPI or uh, Bluetooth or whatever, uh, Bluetooth or receiver changer. So, oh, silent clicks, scroll wheel. I don't know how ergonomic this is gonna be, uh, but yeah, you're mainly getting this for the keyboard. The mouse is just additional, an additional extra, but that's pretty cool. So I'll put that off to the side. Nothing else in the box, I think. Uh, let me just lift this up. Oh, this is a type, no, this is micro, micro USB. So you have a micro USB uh, charging cable, which is included, which is quite cool because these are rechargeable um, peripherals. They're not like battery powered or anything. So that's quite cool to have as well. So that is everything when it comes to the unboxing experience. Pretty simple, but it's still pretty cool. I do like this protective film, so nothing gets damaged in transit. But let's just go over to the keyboard here and the mouse. So I'm just gonna take this out now. Oh, there's the manuals in here as well. So, here's the keyboard, and it has a bit of weight to it, first impression. Here's the manual. Alright, so I'll put the plastic over to the side. So here's your user manual, your standard user manual. You guys know all this. Tells you what the, all the buttons are on the mouse and that. Yeah, so Bluetooth, so 2.4 gigahertz mode, Bluetooth mode telling you how to connect on Windows, how to connect Bluetooth on Windows or on iOS or Android, Mac, all of that good stuff. You guys can read this if you're struggling connecting. Um, I'm guessing there's some warranty info in here too. This is pretty in depth in here. But yeah, if you're having struggle connecting or anything, you can use that, which is quite cool. When it comes to the keyboard here, it's super thin, low profile, very low profile is low profile. I didn't actually think it'd be this low profile. That is ultra thin, that is. Wow. Like, what do I have? I don't really have anything to compare it to. I have a ruler, which I compare it can, can say a remarkable one. That is like five millimeters, probably about seven with the, with a the key. So yeah, and here's obviously your batteries here. So it's a bit thicker here, about one and a half. Whoops, you guys can't see that. Oh. One and a half. So super low profile, really impressive how they've made this. Really nice, smooth. There's no like lump here. It's like a gradual smooth lump. Super nice. Build test. Me I mean it's it's a th it's a low profile keyboard, so there's quite a lot of flex on this. Uh but there's no creaking. Feels solid. Don't know if you can hear that. Nothing there. So it there is flex, but um, there's no creaking, so that's good. A uh, quick sound test. I'll give you a proper sound test later on in the video, but here's just a quick sound test here. 
keys for you though, okay? But I, by the time I do the next part of this video, I will have used this for about a week or two weeks, and I'll give you my final verdict. So yeah, that's it for the unboxing. All right, so here's your mouse button sound test. So as you can hear, do some clicks. This thing is extremely quiet. Like, I will com compare it to my my normal mouse in a second, but just hear that basically silent DPI button. Bit louder. Scroll. Super silent clicks all around, which is impressive. Uh, when it comes to build quality, if I shake it, it's a little bit of rattle from the scroll wheel. So if I hold the scroll wheel, it stops. But other than that, build quality is decent. Uh, there's no like major flex. If I squeeze it, it feels decently solid. Uh, I don't like when it comes to the design. I don't like this. Uh, Mm, this shiny bit because it's just going to be prone to scratching and fingerprints but hey it's it's the design i guess it looks a bit a bit more elegant maybe i don't know here is a glorious model o mouse button sound this is running armor on uh mechanical switches so these are not silent switches and if you hear this significantly louder so, oh my god, it looks so dusty. I ain't cleaned this for a while, but yeah. When it comes to charging and battery life, the battery life is really good. Um, it's rated at about 300 hours. I've been using it for two weeks for productivity and stuff, and I haven't needed to charge it. I did plug it in and test the charging to see if it all worked and everything, and I didn't get any defects, and charging worked fine. Super good uh, battery life, uh, which is expected from these because these are low power. Uh, peripherals i would like to see type c charging on a future model because type c everything for a keyboard mouse my phone everything it'd be cool if it was type c it's also the new gen for micro usb so it'd be cool to see that when it comes to the mouse design um personally for me i have quite large hands and the mouse didn't really fit my hand very well um i was uh, having fatigue and cramping after about an hour of usage depending on your hand size if you have large hands like me i have about 20 centimeter by 10 centimeter hands uh you might struggle using this mouse for long durations um the fit isn't very good comparing hand uh hand feel and uh in hand like you can see in hand um fit of my model o which is my gaming mouse as well as a vixing uh, gaming mouse which i uh, reviewed a couple weeks ago so you can see the fit on those is way better because it's like there's more height on the mouse so there's more area for your hand to rest as well as the the mouse is longer too so it suits a uh, bigger hand so this mouse is not going to be good for any people with uh, large hands so i wanted to let you guys know because you're gonna cramp and it's not fun in addition to this the mouse feet is plastic um they're not like ptfe or anything uh i'm comparing it to my model o which is has a uh, one of the best uh, mice feet on the market and the tracking isn't very smooth uh this isn't going to be an issue because for 
uh, office work you're not gonna need to like have quick track and all that but is one thing to note maybe your hand might get tired quicker the connectivity on both are really good I didn't experience any dropouts on 2.4 gigahertz and Bluetooth and they connect really quickly if I have my uh, Bluetooth already on it will just connect instantly um, really good really happy with the connection you can add uh, two Bluetooth devices as well as 2.4 gigahertz same with the mouse as well so it's really cool also you can uh, use them independently which is quite good as well um for bluetooth um when it comes to the uh, text and font on the keyboard um i do like that i think the the text and font is really simple and it looks good um the space bar has some rattle on it as you've seen and heard from the uh, sound test there is some rattle on it it's not a massive issue but um it doesn't sound the greatest and hopefully they can work on the stabilizers on that and that's really everything i think i have to say uh also the price it's about 40 pounds i think at the moment it's uh on sale a bit um really excellent keyboard you're also getting a mouse in addition which is an extra value extra value add but you're mainly getting this for the keyboard if the mouse fits your hands and you have small hands that's great too as always guys uh these videos take so long to make so be really appreciated if you drop a like, subscribe, Amazon affiliate links are in the description. If you want to support what I do, it will mean so much to me if you subscribed as well. And I'll hang out in the comments. And if you have any other questions that I've forgotten to answer or mention in this video, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace out.